This is a fully customized, minimalist, modern farmhouse situated high up above the Hollywood Hills. My name is Eric Conover, and I'm going to take you on a tour of this one-of-a-kind minimalist modern farmhouse in Los Angeles, California. This incredible home spans 12,500 square feet of living space. It features six bedrooms, nine bathrooms, and it's one of the most unique homes currently on the market here in LA. The property is listed exclusively by Sally Forrester Jones and Tomer Friedman, asking $32 million. Entering from the street level here at 1471 Forest Knoll Drive, this property is gated and it has the utmost privacy for the most discerning buyer with top of the line security. The architects of this property really drew inspiration from European streets when imagining this driveway. This home is situated on just about one acre of land and it's located just minutes from Sunset Plaza. The property is also set back nicely from the road and entering even this motor court alone, you get that feeling of seclusion. Tucked off to the side of the motor court here, we have a multi-tiered flowing staircase that runs parallel to the driveway. And again, you really see that European inspiration come through in this entry pathway as we approach the front entryway of the home. Off to the left here, we have this large retaining wall creating additional privacy, which is then flanked on the right by the home itself leading to the entry courtyard. The pathway then leads down an additional set of stairs to the entryway where we find these two fully matured olive trees. And I love how they left the earth exposed here. It really blends the exterior of the home with the natural landscape. The most dramatic part about this entryway though is the front door, which is one solid piece of oak leading in to the great room of this home. Entering this central space great room, you're immediately hit with feelings of minimalism, but yet it has a warm atmosphere due to the wood paneling, which covers the entirety of the walls up to the ceiling. This great room is spacious, yet it's cozy. It is such a large space, but yet it's sectioned off by the staging. For the inspiration here at Forest Knoll, the project really became about doing the most with the least. They use simple elements like timeless wood, concrete, and stone finishes. The aesthetic of this great room is so interesting because the design itself with that pitched roof naturally draws your eye towards the back, which has floor to ceiling glass windows, giving you some of the most incredible views of Los Angeles. And because of the floor to ceiling windows in the front and the back of the home, there's natural sunlight flooding in here the entire day. On top of the fact, like I mentioned, that the ceilings are 30 foot high, it gives you this massive, expansive, almost cathedral-like feeling when you walk into this great room. One of the more interesting materials used to build this home are these travertine slabs covering the floors of this great room. You're probably thinking, what is so special about travertine? Well, this stone is from the exact same quarry as the travertine that was used to build the Roman Colosseum. So yeah, you have that in your house. As we make our way to the very back of this great room, the floor to ceiling glass walls swivel at the touch of your hand, which open up the space, giving you that prime Southern California indoor outdoor living, leading out to this backyard patio area, which features a cantilevered infinity pool. The pool here really is the focal point of this mansion, taking up almost half of the backyard space. The pool really accentuates the feeling of being suspended in the sky above Los Angeles, yet you are in the comfort of your own home. Even down here from the pool level, you can see the reflection of the home in the water. Everything just works together so seamlessly to create this feeling of luxury. Front and center in the outdoor space, you have the fire pit with the astroturf on either side. Now let's talk about the views. Down below, you can see Sunset Plaza with unparalleled panoramic city to ocean views. From this outdoor space here, you can really see the unique shape of the home itself. This home is characterized by those three paralleled gabled volumes. 
This is something that you do not see in the Los Angeles area. And the fact that this home is designed after a barn, it really makes it stand out above the rest. And each of these three volumes encloses those essential living spaces that are all connected seamlessly by this outdoor space. Moving back into the home, we enter the lounge slash bar space. This room in the home is purely for relaxation. You have another fireplace with that exposed concrete. Behind me, you have a full wet bar for entertaining your guests or even just having a drink to mellow out. And the staging of this room, like the entire home, really keeps with that modern minimalistic feel. Heading from this wet bar area, we enter the home theater. In this home theater, you can fit 12 people comfortably. Surround sound for complete immersion in your movie experience. A top of the line Sony 4K projector. I mean, this is actually like going to the movies that just happens to be in your home. From the impressive home theater, we head back out into the lounge area, up this staircase, which leads you to your very own home fitness center. This home gym has that luxury high-end boutique feeling of a fitness studio that you would go to in Beverly Hills. You have the mirrored floor to ceiling wall, which I think is essential in any gym. There's a Peloton, a few yoga mats, but it really has that flexibility to fully customize this gym however you would need it. Off to the back in the gym, there is a bathroom and a shower for after your workout. Or if you prefer, the floor to ceiling glass windows open up to this outdoor space, which features this very unique pipe shower. You have the ficus trees around the perimeter, giving you that natural privacy for many neighbors. This is definitely a very zen, holistic type of gym, and it really gives off that positive energy when you're in this space. Leaving the home gym, heading out to that main hallway, which connects all three of the gabled barns. We're gonna head to the far right of the mansion and enter the informal living space and kitchen. This section of the home feels very livable. This would be technically the family room. Like the rest of this home, this living room has the floor to ceiling, glass doors, which open up, really giving you that option of indoor outdoor living. Right next to the dining room table is the kitchen of this home. In the center of this kitchen, you have the oversized island with those luxurious waterfall edges. Above the center island, you have the Gaginau chimney range hood, top of the line. Directly below it, you have the six burner wolf stove top. This open shelf minimalistic style kitchen is very on point right now. It's very trendy. And I really love how they made use of this space. From this show kitchen, we head down this long hallway and off to the right, tucked neatly under the staircase, we have a temperature controlled wine cellar. And this is just another one of the unique attention to detail pieces that can be found throughout this entire home. Continuing back on down this hallway, we enter the chef prep kitchen. So if one state of the art kitchen wasn't enough, this home features two. And this one is nicely tucked behind the main kitchen. And again, it's fully stacked with top of the line Miele and Wolf appliances. Directly across from the chef's kitchen, we have another powder room and then off to the other side, the laundry room. Heading back to the great room and the center of this home, we're gonna now head upstairs to the guest wing of the mansion. Over top this stairwell, you have a skylight letting in tons of natural sunlight as you make your way up to the second floor. At the top of the stairway, you're greeted by this cozy lounge area, which is perfect for reading a book. There's really no boundaries in this home. You have this glass railing with a view of the great room. And it's really from up here that you can take in how impressive this space really is. From that cozy sitting area, we head down the hallway of the guest wing and we enter what is currently staged as the office. And as you can see, again, floor to ceiling glass windows, which open up giving you those $32 million Los Angeles views, Southern California, the warmth, the sunshine. Like I mentioned, this room is currently staged as the home office, but it could easily be one of the six bedrooms in the house. And of course, off to the side here, the full ensuite bathroom complete with a oversized walk-in shower. 
Making our way to the end of the guest wing hallway, we enter the third guest bedroom, which is the largest of the three guest bedrooms. And this room has a very zen feeling. I mean, the whole home has that very relaxed feeling, but especially in the staging of this room, you have the bed very low down to the floor, the low night tables on either side, even the artwork on the wall, just very calming. Another unique thing worth mentioning about these guest bedrooms is they all share outdoor space connected by this beautiful outdoor patio which gets sunshine the entire day. Leaving the guest wing of the home, we head back into that great room, that central gable of the home. And here above the great room, we have this nice lofted area. I like to think of this space as the viewing loft of the mansion. And one of the most unique things about this loft is over in the corner here, you actually have a glass floor where you can see straight down to the first floor of this mansion. Again, this is another feature that you just don't really see in your everyday mansion. I mean, it's kind of crazy. From this lofted area, we're now making our way to the master wing of the house. And as you can see here, there's actually a secondary staircase which leads down to the kitchen area. Entering the master wing of the home, we're gonna head off to the right here, which is the master bathroom. And the first thing that you notice in the master wing bathroom is this beautiful marble dual vanity. Across from the marble vanity, you have the his and hers water closet secluded from the rest of the bathroom. And the coolest part of the master bathroom is behind the vanity, you have this marble shower room i think shower room is the only word that you can really say to describe this shower you have one two three four five six shower heads in this steam controlled shower i mean this is luxury and if your shower room wasn't enough the master suite bathroom also features an oversized soaking tub with a huge window giving you perfect views from your soaking tub of los angeles of the ocean. Making our way down the master wing hallway off to the left, the entire center area of the master suite is devoted to the closet area. And then exiting the closet, heading down the hall even further, yet again, we have another closet space if that previous one wasn't enough storage for your clothing. The master bedroom is the only bedroom in this mansion which features these dramatic 14 foot high ceilings really giving off that executive feeling to this space. But then in contrast to that, the master bedroom also has this cozy coffee nook off to the side. It also has a full wet bar which even includes an espresso maker in your bedroom. You look down, you see your outdoor space in the backyard with the Astro turf and the infinity pool, and you kind of can't help but think to yourself, if you do purchase this home, you are the owner of a one of a kind, handcrafted piece of living art. Comment down below your favorite part of this one of a kind mansion. This is hands down one of my favorite properties we've filmed on this channel. And with that, I'll see you in the next episode.